guys if, before i begin this video slash tutorial i just want to say if we hit five likes which i don't know if we will um i will show you how to make this level that i'm showing you guys right now this like parkour level um which you like jump from roof to roof idea was by Wumiko, by the way go check out our channel so um yeah if we hit five likes i'll show you how to make this parkour level hi guys it's spaniel gaming and today uh i'm gonna show you how to make a basketball level so uh, if i just grab a pair of these and we start then um just like basketball you have to try and get the ball through the hoop so i am red team so i think i need to get the ball in here So you just yeet the basketball until it finally goes in. So yeah, um, if I score through this one, that's my own basket. Uh, so that will give um, this player a point. So then if I get it in his one, eventually, there we go, I get a point. Same occurs with the other player. If they get it in their own basket, it gets you a point. If they get it in your basket, then it gives them a point. And uh, by the way, guys, if you think this is hard for some reason, don't worry, it's not. This is literally all the logic here. If I just open up these microchips, this is literally it. So for now, I've just went ahead and done the really simple bits that hopefully you don't need me to explain how to do. So basically, you just get um, a firm platform, and then on top of that platform, put on a grappling thing, uh, a game camera, set it to the whole court, followed by um, player tracking none, and actually extend this. And then uh, you need to get your hoops. So um, just get another line up here, followed by some cl some basic climbable materials. So if you want to have it default, then you can. But I've put a material tweaker on it, and I've put I've removed the bevel to make it look good and then copy it and put it here so you've got your basic core okay next what you want to do is you want to get a small round uh object i've i've used basic cardboard and then make it look like a basketball i know this doesn't look like a basketball i don't know what a basketball looks like don't judge me actually i do i i just can't be bothered to make one so um copy what i do or well, at least I'm going to try and explain it. So put a tag on your uh, basketball. And then put uh, a material tweaker on it. Like so. And make it grabbable. If you're using cardboard. So then if I... If I use my grabinators I can actually grab them. Alright, um, alright, next what you want to do is you want to, well, depending on the height of your court, so if you've got heights like mine, and it's impossible to get them in, don't panic, um, because just get an anti-gravity tweaker. Mine needs to be at, like, 30% anti-gravity. Yeah, that can happen, but um, I'll tell you what to do to prevent that from happening in a minute if it's not obvious enough. So uh, now it's possible to actually like um, get the ball in the court. Now get a microchip, put it on one of the courts, then put a tag sensor, and then a score giver. You can set the score to however you like. Mine's gonna be 10. 
and then make it color coded so for me this one's going to be team red and no other ones attach that edit this so it's just like literally just in the court like that now edit this put it here and with the score giver um put it to another team so that's where the actual versus thing comes into play now all of you may be wondering how to prevent this from happening where i tried earlier where i tried to um kobe the ball into the net and then it went flying over and we lost the ball well um if it's not obvious enough then get basic cardboard or whatever material you want really as long as it's solid and then just put it around the the court like so and then get an opacity tweaker oops set it to zero percent and zero fade time so um now if we want to uh try and get it out we we can't no matter how hard we try it will be here forever as you can see here in my completed version i have some uh some bounce pads if you're wondering why i did that above the nets then it's because that's to like prevent the ball from getting stuck up there because um that can happen and it's very annoying so let's get rid of these let's get our bounce pads put the height to minimum i want to make mine a bit bigger put them on each side and stick them i just forgot to make this static there we go so um now or at least you can copy this opacity tweaker if you're lazy like me and attach them to the bounce pads like so so now the the bounce pads won't actually bounce the object because it's an object so instead what it will do is it won't allow it to like go all the way back here instead it will go there and what comes up must come down and it'll go through the net so it completely prevents the problem of it getting stuck up there though i i, I can never really get it stuck up there but just in case you can that's how to prevent it this next part that i show you how to do there's two ways to do it this is uh one of the ways but you can like do it another way and i show you how to do that at the, the end of the video it's completely optional but i did it so um go to gameplay controls put it versus enable sack pocket no um minimum recommended two players you can have it like two on two if you want so it can be like four players but i've put that on no maximum recommended players two again optional and then again this is optional time limit i've put mine to 120 and if you've done that and want like a little extra accessory to show the players how much time they have left get a sticker panel spread it across over here so then put the opacity down to zero get a timer and i've put my time as you can see to um to 120 so i'm gonna put my i'm gonna set my timer to 120 you can set yours to whatever you put your timer on if you put a timer on it and there we go that is our basketball court complete wait a minute guys one last thing i haven't actually done this um to my normal one 
so we're gonna do it now with the scoreboard or this is just an idea um put a scoreboard somewhere and then put a like a material above the scoreboard or just on the scoreboard and then place a character teleporter oh, ah here it is never mind um teleport all players yes transition time up to you show loading screen i'm gonna put no because i'm impatient and then put the opacity tweaker on the piece of cardboard like that and then so you can either do this which i show you how to do in the tutorial or you can not have a time limit but keep this so then plug plug this up to the character teleporter input so then once the time is out then it teleports you up to the scoreboard anyways guys thanks so much for watching i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you want to see more stuff being added into little big planet most of my viewers late like jj for example and bongo cat they probably don't play little big planet but uh so this is probably for my sake if you want you can comment down below some i some level ideas and a tutorial so i can just make a video on showing you how to do that if i know how to do it so apart from that oh by the way before i end um this timer thing up here that's that's optional because as you can see here it still shows the time anyways even without it so i've been an absolute ficko and not actually realized that so you don't really need this bar thing but or you could just do the timer the other way that I showed you how to. But I have, because why not? And apart from that, I'll see you guys uh, later.